In this video, we're going to take a look at the Alltrans software driver portal. We're going to look at setting up a shortcut on the home screen for the drivers to easily access the login screen, as well as look at all the functionality of the driver portal, and we'll process a couple of trips. Now before we get started, I'm going to go in and clear the cache on, on this device. And the reason for that is due to the fact that we're, we're doing a, a pretty significant update on the driver portal. So, so we would recommend that. And you would clear the cache on the browser that you use. And you may have to Google the steps on how to do that depending on the device that you're using. We're, uh, in this demo, we're looking at a, uh, an Android. So I'm going to go to Settings and Apps, and then go down to Chrome. And click on Storage and clear the cache. To get started here, we're going to go to the web browser, and I'm using Chrome. And you're going to type in the uh, web address for the driver portal. And that should bring you to the login screen. Then proceed to enter in your credentials. Now, the very first screen we're looking at here is a driver management screen. And this screen won't be available or visible to every driver. You need to have one of these options active uh, in order to see, to see the option. So you need to have the ability as a W-2 driver to unassign or assign vehicles. Or you need to have the, have the option available uh, for the driver inspection reports. Uh, and lastly, for W-2 drivers, once again, uh, we give the option to clock in and clock out throughout the day. In addition, you can also, as a W-2 driver, click on one of the time in or time out line items and it, we give you the ability to alter uh, a clock in or a clock out uh, in the event that you need to do that. You can also uh, write notes to the office uh, for any given day if you need to as well. Back to the assigned vehicle, if I unassign my vehicle of available fleet vehicles show up and you can select from those and if you notice for the driver inspection reports the only option available is the weekly report and the reason for that is every seven days or every thousand miles you're required to do the weekly inspection if I take away this assigned vehicle you see that there's a daily and a weekly available and I'll just click on those so you can get a sense of what that looks like. So you complete everything that's relevant, uh, work your way down, enter in your pin, and save and close. Same thing for the weekly inspection. Just a lot more options to inspect, to choose from. And you can click on any of these and color code, the color code uh, changes. And there's a, a legend up at the top for, for what those colors represent. So again, if you're a driver that doesn't have the option to assign unassigned vehicles, or if the driver inspection reports isn't an option that's active on your provider's account, in addition to the W-2 dri driver time cap capture, you won't see this management screen. And in the event that, that those, that's the case, 
you will be brought right to your main schedule for the day. So on the driver schedule, you have the ability to change the date up at the top. This gets you uh, access back to the driver management screen if you need to. Uh, this refreshes the screen in the event that uh, more trips are added. And then you still have the ability to print pre-printed trip logs for MNET or any uh, medical ride. Now all these trips are in a uh, accept turn back status. And again, this is an optional feature and not all drivers will see this. So drivers have the ability, certain drivers have the ability to review their schedule, accept rides, or turn them back. And turning the ride back unassigns you as a driver to that trip also sends an email out to dispatch uh, so that leg can get uh, reassigned. Once you accept the ride, then your ability to turn it back goes away. Uh, so in the event that you need to, uh, in the event that you won't be able to service that ride, you'd have to call into dispatch. If the accept turn back feature wasn't an option, then the trips would, would start out in, in, in the select uh, position. Uh, we'll indicate the type of ride on the left hand side. WC is for wheelchair, STR would be stretcher. We also now indicate which, which leg is being displayed. So leg one, leg two, leg one, leg two. So we're gonna process a trip we do that by selecting the, tr the leg that we want to process. And, and we'll look at this in a moment, but you also have the ability to, to select and, and run through multiple legs uh, in the event that you have a multiple rider uh, scenario or multiple uh, pickups along the way. Uh, and before we get started, you have the ability to review notes if any exists as well as this paper log feature allows you to mark a leg uh, as paper log in the event that you didn't use the driver portal. And this will clear it from uh, your schedule, and I'll do that now. So now it clears off, and back at the office that leg would be marked uh, as a paper log, and the office would expect the documentation to be turned in. So I'm just going to accept the rest of these rides. So we start out by selecting the leg that we're going to do. All the details of the trip is displayed up above. At any point in time, you have a Google button if you need directions, driving directions. And you, you still have access to the notes for that trip if they exist. If they don't exist, the notes button would not be there. So we're going to indicate that we're en route to, to the pickup. And this is one of the only uh, confirmations that you'll see along the way. So this is just, just stating for the driver to confirm that you're en route to go pick up this client or this member. So I'm going to click OK. And then this changes to arrive. Now, once you arrive at the location, show, you can click no show. And we'll capture the time. Uh, and the coordinates. Uh, otherwise you click arrive. And this depart button is, is another optional feature. So not all drivers will see depart. And the advantage of having the depart added as a, a, a feature has to do with the fact that we can then capture what time you arrived at the home and what time you departed. So if you spent 20 minutes waiting for the member to come out and get loaded into the vehicle, which caused you to be late to an appointment, we would have that data to, to reference back to. Now the start odometer will only appear if it's required. If it's not required, it won't be there as an option. So I'm gonna type in my odometer reading and then click depart. And now we're in an end leg status. Now at this point I can go back to schedule and let's say I'm driving from where I picked that person up uh, to the next person and I can select the next person on the list and click in route and arrive and, 
and depart. And if you notice, you get a message if, if you forget to put the odometer uh, reading in. So if I go back to the schedule, I can see that both of these legs are in an end, st uh, an end leg status. So I can come back in here and click end leg, and click end. And the very last page here is where you're going to get the signature as well as uh, complete the trip. So we're going to click on obtain client signature. You want to get the signature from the client or from the facility before you move down and populate any of these other fields. So I'm going to click on that and then we'd proceed to get the signature. And then once it's captured, the button turns green and it indicates that it's captured. You have the choice to choose who's signing and you can choose member, which is the default, uh, or you can go down to facility. You can also get a printed name. And again, if the odometer readings are required, this will display. And then finally, you end it with your PIN number. Now, if you needed to write some kind of narrative to record some events that happened on the trip, you can do that here. And then you finish by confirming. Once complete, it just it disappears from your schedule. And then we can move on and end the next person. Firm. So I'm just going to run through that one more time. I'm going to select the leg that we're going to service. I'm going to indicate that we're in route. I'm going to indicate that we arrived to the pickup location. Then I'm going to put in an odometer rating because it's required and then I'm going to indicate that I'm departing from that location and then we're going to get to the destination, so I'm going to click on end. We're going to obtain a signature and confirm it. And this is optional, but I'll get a printed name. And finally enter in an odometer reading and to complete it with the driver pin. Now that I've completed all of my trips, I can see the schedule is blank for today. And I can go, then go back to driver management. And I could clock out to end my day. And if I return my vehicle, I can unassign my vehicle. Uh, so that concludes the tutorial on the driver, Ultrans software driver portal. Uh, certainly feel free to reach out uh, directly uh, with any questions, as well as you can reference our printable version, our paper version of, of this tutorial. Thank you.